Welcome back to Watching Film. Today we're going to talk about the Tulsa defense. This is a unit that's performed very well this season. Um, I believe Bill Connolly with his SP Plus said that if preseason prognostication was taken away, this would be a top five defense just based on the numbers of alone. They held down a pretty decent Oklahoma State offense who's also playing like a backup quarterback. So they're... But they also held UCF way under their season averages in yard per play. They're a pretty tough group that really gets after it, especially in the run game. So let's take a look at what they like to do. As you can see here, they like to go with three down linemen. Um, I think I think they're may, they're a three four team is what it looks like with some of these guys. Um, maybe outside backers being possible hybrid type guy, but they're just aggressive fly to the football, and they're not afraid to play up in your face. So here's early in the game against Oklahoma State. Third and six in the red zone. And you see just a run stuff. They got some pretty good players. Their linebackers are both good. Uh, 23 is particularly a good player. He played unbelievable against UCF. I like number 90 as well. He plays on the defensive line. He seemed to cause havoc. Here you can see the fit here. UCF tries some jet motion, and they're going to give the ball back. But they got him playing outside here. So these other these guys inside the box are free to go. And you'll see they have this run just bottled up immediately. Here's down the goal line. Third and goal. From, you know, the half-yard line. Here's my guy number 90. His last name's Player, I believe, and he's a pretty good one. Able to quick little swim over the center, make the play in the backfield. They got stopped short. Had to go for it on fourth down here. And then again, getting inside penetration and just stuffing a run before it even starts. My guy 90 about took the handoff here. Uh, they're pretty they're pretty stout against the run. You can see they fit stuff up well. Here's a little wildcat look with like a wide zone with UCF. We all know UCF is very fast. Watch how they fit up this run here. Linebacker just runs right through. They do a good job. You see he's keeps his he's keeps he's gonna turn the run back in if it gets to him. You'll see later on there's another one inside the red zone where they do a great job. Of not giving up the edge. And they're tough, man. They, they, they're they tough. They fly to the ball. Their linebackers are physical and aggressive. Their defensive backs are very physical. You'll see that when we get to the passing game stuff. But this is kind of their look. Three down linemen. And they're able to stop the run with three down linemen. I mean, look at the linebacker fly through here for a safety. I mean, that's pretty good stuff. The defensive linemen do a pretty good job of holding on to blocks here. Not letting these other these linemen get to the second level, and then the linebackers will just shoot those gaps. I wonder if they there's a there's a like a there's a theory that you should just hold sometimes with these wide zone and and zone heavy teams. I've had that done to me in the past where these guys will just hold the two linemen and let the linebackers just run free. So it's something to watch for. They don't really call defensive holding on the line very often. What it's a tactic you can use against zone teams. Um, but here's another one. Great run fit here. Notice how he's keeping the outside here. Turns it back in. He's able to make the play, but if he if he didn't, he would turn it back into the pursuit. I just re I really like watching them play defense. They are aggressive, physical, and they get after it. And here when that happens. The running back starts to peak a little bit because there's penetration. All everything running back for Oklahoma State. And he fumbles the ball. And Tulsa's there to recover. In the passing game, they'll, they can get pressure with three. These guys are pretty good. So here's you see a sack. They're, they're not afraid to sit back and play coverage. As aggressive they are. They can play some quarter stuff. They can play just some quarter stuff where they're playing basically just man. They can drop back. 
and play more coverage and drop eight guys. As you see here, second down, you drop eight. Give We'll give you the really long throw out here. Can you make it over people? That's a tough throw. But then we'll also bring pressure. So here, starting outside, I'm going to come inside, get this tackle to come with me, bring a linebacker off the edge. Just a simple pressure of slant this way, bring one off the edge. I'm still only bringing four, but I'm able to affect the play, cause an incompletion. Here's another look. Same thing, I'll kind of bring a slant here, here, here. Now I'm going to come off the edge again, but now we're going to add this guy into the pressure, this other linebacker. And I'm going to get the quarterback free, make him throw a little quicker than he wants, and overthrow it. But again, it's only bringing five. It's not bringing a ton. And here you'll see they're able to win on the outside here. Again, inside. Come from the outside, and he wins up top. Getting pressure with four, and your linebackers are able to still play the run for the RPO type stuff. So he's playing the run. You're able to get pressure here in the passing game. Cause an incompletion here. And then you see the physical coverage down at the bottom. These guys are not afraid to play with their hands all over you and drive you out of bounds. Another thing they did pretty well in the two games I watched is they played screen really well. So here you got third and 13. First of all, I mean, you're in his hip pocket up here and driving him out of bounds. But he does a pretty good job keeping his eyes. They're going to try to pin him right there. He avoids that block and then makes a play in the open field. And this guy, according to their website, is like 240, 250 pounds and six foot four. That guy can move. If he's that big, and he'll probably be playing in the NFL if he can move like that at that size. I think they got a couple guys that might have futures on this defense. But their linebackers are pretty good. Right here, one of these fast UCF backs gets the ball in space right here. And watch his linebacker just close down and make a great tackle. I mean, that's a great play right there in space. Don't give him a chance to make a move. Find it and finish. Then they're obviously not afraid to play. A little man here, they kind of got a almost like a bracket. Watch the defensive back play through the hands here. Knock the ball away on the goal line. Almost get a pick there. Again, you've got some, you've got some pressure in here. But then play through his hands, knock the ball away. Then right here, another tight man coverage. Look up top. They're already hand fighting. I mean, he's in that dude's hip pocket. Quarterback throws it right to him. Not the best decision, but, I mean, that's Wallace, who's a really good receiver. And you're not – you don't care. You're just – you're going to play him nose to nose, man to man. Make him beat you. And they were, they were physical. They pushed those guys out of bounds a few times. They were they were a tough group. You can see here, same thing. You can see the defensive backs being physical right there, physical. He's got hands all over him. He's being physical. If, they, if the refs aren't going to call it, I think they're going to be really physical all night with the receivers. So you might be able to get a couple calls with interference, but it might be like the Seahawks used to do where they're going to just interfere you every play and see how many times the refs call it. But you can see right there, physical, right here, hands, hands. I mean, they're not afraid to get up in your face. Tip drill, get interception. Give the offense the ball in a pretty good spot right there. So this this Tulsa defense is going to be a unique challenge for USF. Um, they played USF's played a couple pretty good defenses already. Notre Dame's had a pretty good defense. Cincinnati's pretty good. Uh, I think this Tulsa unit is probably maybe a tier below that Notre Dame unit. Um, and, you know, we'll see how, how they compare to Cincinnati after Saturday, but or Friday night, rather. But this is a really good defense, uh, and I'll be interested to see how USF attacks them. 
on Friday night. 